This screencast will talk about the hypodermis. The hypodermis is also called the subcutaneous layer. They're the same thing, it just depends which resource you're looking at. So hypo means under, dermis means dermis, so it's underneath the dermis, or sub means below, which, uh, and then cutaneous means skin, so it's below the skin. So either way you look at it, it's below the dermis or below the skin, uh, because depending on the resource you're looking at, the hypodermis can be considered a third layer of the skin, or it can be separate to the skin, and just if that resource just includes the epidermis and the dermis as the skin. So again, the hypodermis can either be the third layer of skin, or it can be separate to the other two layers of skin. It can be called the hypodermis or the subcutaneous layer. That might be the most complicated part of this screencast is the actual name and classification of the hypodermis. Um, the function of the hypodermis is twofold. First of all, it's going to connect the skin to underlying fascia, which is a, another type of connective tissue, bones and muscles. Secondly, the hypodermis is going to store fat in order to insulate the body and cushion it. There are four main components of the hypodermis. The first thing is that it's generally made up of loose areolar connective tissue. So it's just made up of a, a base of connective tissue. However, mixed in with that connective tissue is a large amount of adipose or fat. And so this adipose or fat is what's going to help cushion and insulate. The blood vessels um, and nerves are also present in the hypodermis. Um, so they are, it is well vascularized. So it has a lot of blood vessels and it does have nerves. And that is a very quick overview of the hypodermis.